This slide presentation provides an overview of a recent report documented by the New Hampshire DOT and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Cold Regions Research and Engineering Laboratory. The report, released in November 2015, presents the results of a four-year structural condition assessment of three pavement sections on a two-mile section of Pickering Road in Rochester, New Hampshire. Key findings from the study demonstrated that Tensar TX160 provided structural improvement to the pavement section in an area of heavy freeze-thaw and frost-susceptible soils. Findings show that 8 to 11 inches of base course stabilized with Tensar TX160 is equal to 18 to 19 inches of unstabilized base course. This is a 33 to 42 percent reduction in aggregate. This study is applicable to all pavement designers, but it has specific applicability to many agencies in northern states and territories that deal with heavy freeze-thaw cycles. This study demonstrates the effectiveness of a TX stabilized section to improve pavement performance under these conditions. The following slides provide some additional insight into this testing. Rochester is located in southeast New Hampshire, as shown on the top right map. Pickering Road, situated just south of Rochester, was constructed in three phases. Phase 1 from England Road to DeBetz Road, Phase 2 from Tibet's Road to Quaker Lane, and Phase 3 involved reconstructing 1,000 feet of Pickering Road south of England Road. Vehicle traffic on this road was measured by New Hampshire DOT and varied from 2,800 to 6,500 AADT. This area of New Hampshire recorded 164 freezing days in the winter of 2013 to 2014, and 145 freezing days in the winter of 2014 to 2015. Annual precipitation in 2014 was 37 inches. There were three distinct pavement sections constructed. The southernmost section contained a woven geotextile separator between the subgrade and the subbase layer. The intermediate section included both the TX160 geogrid in the base course and a woven geotextile separator between the subgrade and subbase layers. The northernmost section contained TX160 geogrid within the base course. Subgrade soils consisted of frost susceptible silts. Modulus values for the subgrade ranged from 9,000 psi to 25,000 psi. In order to verify thicknesses of the pavement structure, New Hampshire DOT drilled nine borings at selected locations. The test borings went to a depth of between 6 to 6.5 feet below the pavement surface. Asphalt, base, subbase, and subgrade materials were sampled at this time. New Hampshire DOT performed characterization of the materials. As shown on this slide, geogrid and fabric samples were also exhumed and the locations were verified. To evaluate frost penetration, New Hampshire DOT installed frost tubes. These tubes were used to indicate frozen layers within the pavement. Frost depths observed extended up to 45 inches below the pavement surface. Frost tubes were also used to help observe thawing conditions within the pavement layers during the spring. Additionally, moisture and temperature levels were measured and continuously logged. Climatic data was also monitored. As previously outlined in slide 2, this area of New Hampshire experienced 164 freezing days during the winter of 2013 to 2014 and 145 freezing days during the winter of 2014 to 2015 the highest number of freezing days recorded in the last 15 years. Temperatures within the pavement sections were monitored as shown on the chart. This information was necessary to establish the appropriate time for FWD testing. Frozen soils can lead to inaccurate measurements if they're not accounted for. In order to monitor the pavement stiffness, surface deflection recorded at 1 1,000th of an inch was performed using Corel's Dynatest 8000 FWD which is pictured at the bottom of this slide. This testing was performed in the wheel path and center lane for both north and south directions per ASHTO 93 procedures. Asphalt and air temperatures were also measured at the time of testing. Four load settings were applied, 6,000, 10,000, 13,000, and 17,000 pound drops. Four load drops at each load setting were performed, providing a total of 16 drops at each location. Sections evaluated for comparison were based on locations where the roadway geometry, topography, gradient, drainage, and solar exposure 
were relatively consistent. Testing was conducted during the spring, summer, and fall. Temperatures for the pavement surface, frost measurements, moisture conditions, and other pavement conditions are outlined in the full report. As can be seen, there was a lot of information gathered during the pavement evaluation. Interpreting all this data was an extensive process. It required a proper and thorough evaluation in order to develop appropriate seed data. Two programs were used to analyze this information. The first is called PCASE. It stands for Pavement Transportation Computer Assisted Structural Engineering and is put out by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The second is LMOD 6, which stands for Evaluation of Layer Moduli and Overlay Design and is put out by Dynatest. Non-stabilized sections were then compared to TX160 stabilized sections. As outlined on this slide, results demonstrated that 8 to 11 inches of base course stabilized with Tensar TX160 is equal to 18 to 19 inches of unstabilized base course. As mentioned earlier, this equates to a 33 to 42% reduction in aggregate. It also needs to be noted that this reduction is only based on stiffness performance. Other benefits such as rutting, thermal cracking, and fatigue are not accounted for in this study. TX160 is not one of the geogrids within the pavement optimization module of Tensar SpectrePay 4 Pro software. However, the performance would likely be in between that of Tensar's TX5 and TX7 geogrids, which are in the pavement optimization module. When values are reviewed, as diagrammed on this slide, results from SpectrePay 4 Pro are very similar to results found by New Hampshire DOT and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This is another validation point to Tensar SpectrePay 4 Pro software, which has been developed through significant laboratory and field testing as well as has been independently reviewed by pavement design experts, such as Applied Research Associates, or ARA. We hope this study by New Hampshire DOT and Corel provides helpful data to engineers and agencies looking to find ways to improve pavement design practices. Many engineers and agencies are trying to find effective ways to handle the increasing structural needs of pavements, while at the same time trying to balance rising material and maintenance costs. Many northern states and provinces also deal with heavy freeze-thaw cycles. Results from this study demonstrate that Tensar TX can provide significant structural improvement in areas of frost-susceptible soil and heavy freeze-thaw. Based on observations and results, Tensar TX can help minimize the influence of thermal cracking and reduce aggregate thicknesses by 33-42%. to 42%. This can provide significant cost savings in excavation aggregate, utility impacts, and time impacts. For additional information on this study, or Tensar SpectrePay 4 Pro software, or for help with the design, please reach out to your Tensar Regional Manager, visit our website, or feel free to call us. Thanks.